I think our goal this year was to go undefeated and then be one of the greatest teams I was ever had. And we accomplished, in my eyes, both of them. I think our expectations are the same every year. I mean, even last year we expected a good, a good to great season, no matter what the talent we have or, or what the deal is. But I think for this year, yeah, we met our expectations. We obviously didn't know we'd go 9-0 and in the regular season, but that was something to strive for. And I just want to thank you for saying we'd go 9-0. and I got to give him props to that. But, <laughs> but um, no, I just think that we definitely met our goals. Obviously, we would have liked to have gone farther than what we did, but for the most part, I thought we met our goals. The program's goal is to, to be a state title winner. And uh, so that's where we start. And then you just work your way down to making the playoffs, uh, winning conference. And, and then within that winning conference, you want to uh, you know, win all your games. Sometimes uh, you look back on your coaches later on and, and some of the things that you may have learned or saw your coach do. You know, so that's some of the things that I want them. I don't think that they'll you know, appreciate some of the things that myself or Coach Kirkman or Coach Jepson or some of the coaches, you know, other coaches that they've had, they'll look back at them and, you know, and remember, oh, yeah, Coach, I handled a situation like this. And you know, Coach said these things and talked about these things. Uh, that's the hope. It, it isn't necessarily so much now. It's as they continue to grow up and, and be faced with different challenges, uh, to be able to look back at their experience with their teammates, their coaches, uh, coaches that they're going to have in the future, um, and coaches they've had in the past that have contributed to, to not only them as an athlete, but them as a person. And I'm just happy and, and proud to be a part of that uh, small part of their life. We'll start with Cyrano. Uh, we pulled him up as a sophomore uh, and to start in the offensive line. Uh, I don't think there was a day that didn't go by that coach can play defense, coach can play defense. <laughs> um, and I knew we could. But what I want to make sure as we started in the sophomore year that it's a lot of work playing on the, uh, in the trenches. And I didn't want to get him overwhelmed early. You know, he kind of excelled there. He became all-conference as a junior in the defense. Um, and then uh, so expectation this year was, again, trying to be able to excel at both line positions, which is very difficult at the varsity level to do uh, with Michael. Uh, again, uh, coming off a junior year successful, um, set high expectations for himself to kind of repeat some of those things. But then also, I think as a senior, after getting some awards, you start to think big picture now, team. You know, can, what can I do to help this team achieve more? And uh, I think that was a lot more of his focus this year, not so much on himself, but on the team and what he can do and what he can bring to the team. Um, and I think he did a tremendous job of, of having the rest of the team play up uh, in their potential. What I think he'll look back at most is, uh, again, the team, uh, senior year, senior team, uh, what they accomplished. I think that'll be what he looks back at and is most proud of.